Mohammed Mustafayi said he knew the risk he was taking by bringing the world's attention to the case of Sakine Mohamede Ashtiani, the 43-year-old mother of two who was scheduled to be stoned to death for allegedly committing adultery in Iran. But Mustafayi said he had to do what was right, and so he loudly proclaimed his client's innocence to the world. Internet campaigns and rallies held worldwide in support of Ashtiani turned the international spotlight on her case, but also turned Iran's attention inward, it seems, on Mustafayi. Now Mustafayi sits in a detention center in Turkey, waiting to hear if he'll be granted asylum, while his wife sits in Evin prison in Iran, waiting to learn what charges, if any, will be filed against her. Human rights groups say Mustafayi's wife is being held as collateral and accuse the Iranian government of trying to pressure Mustafayi to stop talking about the Ashtiani case. This is something that the government of Iran has tried over and over again to hush with uh, using fear, uh, intimidation tactics, uh, and also imprisoning anyone and that they feel is threatening. In an open letter allegedly penned while in hiding, Mustafayi explained his decision to flee his homeland. Despite the arrest of the person I love most in my life, I have decided not to ever set foot in a judicial office where the interrogators do not abide by basic laws. His anguish and his anger at the Iranian judiciary pour out onto the page. I leave you and your interrogator at the mercy of God the Creator, he says. I hope that you won't let my child cry for her mother not eating food and wanting her mother back. She needs to hug her mother. If through this separation from her mother she gets hurt, it's a sin that you have committed. Meanwhile, the children of Sakine Mohammadi Ashtiani, the woman whose name Mustafayi fought so hard to clear, sit and wait for word of their mother's fate. Their mother has been offered asylum by the president of Brazil, Lula da Silva. That's an offer the Iranian government has rejected, saying, quote, Lula is a very humane and kind person and may not have had enough information regarding this case. Ivan Watson, CNN, Istanbul.